Today I want to show you a quick demonstration of the King Vision video laryngoscope. I will do a quick innovation on this mannequin without putting it into the sniff position, thus making the innovation as difficult as possible. I will then do the same innovation quite a bit slower so that I can point out a couple of things as we go along. And now I'll show you how quickly you can facilitate an innovation using the King Vision video laryngoscope system. Load your ET2. And there you go. Now you obviously need to go ahead and inflate your cuff at this time and listen to your lung sounds. But if you wanted to check real quickly to make sure you were still in, you can always reinsert the blade, come around the corner, take a quick peek again, and see that you're right in the right location still. Okay, now I'm gonna do this innovation just a little bit slower so that I can show you some of the details that I'm looking at to make this work a little easier. You wanna lay the blade down right across the patient's chest basically, and then roll it right around the corner of the rear of the oropharynx. Now if you take a look at the screen, you can see I'm coming up on the epiglottis. And we wanna make sure that we either use it like a curved blade like we're supposed to, and put it in the vollecula and let the epiglottis open up, or we grab the very tip of the epiglottis. Either way is going to work well. What you don't want to do is end up going all the way down here, especially on a patient that's as closed as this patient is. It's going to make it very hard to make the anterior turn. So at this point, as soon as we see that epiglottis, and make sure you see the epiglottis every single time, I'm going to go into the vollecula, let it open up, we slide it right in.